Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 15th of March 2023 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon rising in Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. We have something to do with dreams. This can be about listening to your dreams. This can also be about dare to dream. Don't lose sight of your hopes, dreams and wishes. Let's see what we have with that. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. I am using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. The Hanged Man. Bottom of the deck, we have the Moon. The Three of Cups. I want to pull an extra card for dreams because I feel that likely this is going to be the outcome. Clarify dreams for Capricorn, please. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. And justice. So Capricorn justice can be linked with legal situations, but it can also be linked with things like red tape, bureaucracy, contracts, official things. So however this resonates with you, Justice can be linked with a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that restores balance. So the Four of Pentacles, it can be linked with when we're careful with money. You know, the Four of Pentacles, when we are, when we have to watch every penny, it's sometimes called the miser card. You know, when this came out, it kind of came out like this. I see. Someone's being greedy. I, I, I don't know if this is your energy. I mean, it might well be you're responding to this energy by being careful with money, but this is somebody is withholding from you, but because they're greedy, um... This is hoarding. Someone's not wanting to share, not wanting to give, not wanting to potentially give you what you deserve here. They're holding back because they want it all for themselves. <laughs> that would be the energy here. Uh, they don't want to let go of it. Now, the Three of Swords can be a painful... It can be linked with a, a painful truth. It can be linked with things like breakups as well here. Capricorn uh, but you know three of swords can be disappointment let downs you know it I mean this could well be a situation here where something you're waiting for something to be sorted out because somebody wasn't giving you what you deserved or giving you what they should and it might have been hurtful or you went through some kind of hurtful process. Again, in relationships, this would be potential breakups, but they weren't giving you the... It feels like there is some kind of breakup or news or disappointment that you've gone through, but you weren't being given what you were given. I mean, that could be in money areas and career areas. Again, inheritance, it, it, it can be to do with, you know, if there was some kind of health issue in the workplace. 
whatever the scenario is, there's just just this greed. I mean, Four of Pentacles, when it's on its side, you know, has the opportunity to be upright or reverse, and it feels like greed was an issue. Someone's not giving you what they should. The Hanged Man is waiting, waiting for things to play out. Yeah, this is just feeling stuck because things are beyond your control in some way, but you hope for the best, that dream energy. You hope for the best. You're hoping that, that what you might even be intuitively feeling about a situation is going to pay off. But, you know, you just don't know, but you're hopeful here. Because generally when we're like in this energy, because truth is on our side here, the moon can be linked to hidden blessings. Sometimes we don't see fully what's going to happen next. But this can be about divine orchestration going on behind the scenes, hidden blessings, spirit working to support you, help you, guide you through your intuition generally. Sometimes you have to surrender and trust when the moon appears because we're not fully clear about how something's going to pan out. With regard to the Three of Cups, if there is going to be reasons to celebrate, you know, how, how this situation is going to pan out, will it be in celebration, will it be positive, you know, that's the energy here. It might well be that you're being comforted or supported by your community as well, friends, family. And you're being told, I mean, really a very spiritual energy in this reading, the Hierophant, have faith. Justice with the Hierophant is a just and fair, I mean, this can be about uh, a higher power work, you know, watching over you, guiding you, protecting you. That's the energy here. And sometimes you have to lean on your spiritual faith, you know, in times of uncertainty and doubt. This can be linked with things like answered prayers. So we have justice, a just and fair decision coming in. I mean, this strongly feels like fairness is, is you know, the fairness, the balance of what's fair and right and true is restored. So what you're hoping for, again, this dream energy, what you're hoping for, spirit is telling you, have faith, it's going to happen. I don't know really if it's going to happen in the next few days, because really... You know, these readings are for a limit of a few days, a handful of days only. But spirit telling you to just surrender and trust. Something is playing out right now. But you're absolutely being watched over and there's hidden blessings here. Uh, you're being told that whatever this decision is, generally when it appears in your reading, Justice, it's a just and fair decision that's in your favor. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Yeah, we have moon energy, Sh surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. A strong energy of hidden blessings here. Really, you don't see it now, but you will. That's the energy. That's what I have in the reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.